All right, guys, we're back. Um, uh, uh, where we left off, we had beaten Swordmaster. Um, I forget his name. Uh, it's something like S K Akami Izumi. There it is. Um, we unlocked the job class Swordmaster. I put it on uh, Tiz, and I got it to seven or eight, eight. Um, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the skills Swordmaster has. It's a lot of counter stuff. I, I put it on Tiz though, regardless, because I mean, I think it's gonna come in handy. There's so, like, uh, before Swine is a half damager, and uh, you can counter attack with three times the damage, which is pretty awesome. Um, but I'm not a fan of the class itself. That's why I went back to Knight. But um, I have it as his uh, his side abilities, and uh, I change. I level Dringa Bell's uh, sword magic up to. Like six or seven, I think. So he he's able to do uh, some uh, good level stuff. I I was just thinking maybe he can enchant his bow with a couple elements and uh, do an extra kick in it, which uh, sounded good to me. I don't know. We'll see though how that works. Um, we're gonna go to the main mission and see what we gotta do next. Uh, where we had left off in the main story, we had just uh. Uh, reignited the fire crystal. Fire? There was a way in through the mithril mine. Yes, we have awakened the fire crystal. That should quell Mount Carcass fury. That is excellent news. Thank you, Wind Vestal. We owe you and your companions our thanks. One thing. After we awaken the fire crystal, all the veins of ore in the mine disappeared. I see. Oh, no need to look so dejected. This is actually good news for us. After all, the mithril warheads the sword bearers fired upon us were a source of great concern. This should change the course of the war. If we are lucky, it may end soon. Once the eruption of Mount Carcass subsides, we will also work to restore the Temple of Fire as quickly as we can. I would appreciate that. The fire vessel should be given a proper funeral without delay. After all... We were only able to awaken the Fire Crystal through the help of Ego here, and the Fire Vestal. Is that so? Fine work, Ego. You have my thanks, too. <laughs> <laughs> what will become of the Canary Boys, who were working in the mine? They were all without homes to go back to, so we will harbor them here in Heart's Child. The townspeople will see that they are cared for. I'm glad to hear that. You'll be seeing your friends again soon, Eagle. Yeah. Well, you are all tired, I dare say. You don't look too happy. Please get some that. rest while you sojourn in Heart's Child. Alright. Back to Heart's Child, I guess. What's the matter, Eagle? I don't want to live in this town. What? Why not? I want to go with you! Huh? That's simply not... So, you wish to fight by our side, hmm? Oh, I can't do that. I don't know how to fight. But I still want to go with you. Please, take me with you. I'll do anything you ask. It just won't work. Even if you say no, I'm still going! Then we have a problem. Let's go to Commander Goodman's residence. Yeah, man, now you're just being stubborn. Come find us in about, like, I don't know, four years. Have Goodman teach you the swordsman's tree, how to fight with swords and stuff. And then, you know, maybe we'll consider it. But as of now, nada. Nope. We've decided to take Eagle in. My husband has agreed that it would be best. You hear that, Eagle? That's great news. You couldn't wish for a better family than the Goodmans. 
I hope that when you grow up, we'll see an age free from the ravages of war. I would hate to see you end up a soldier. I believe your husband has what it takes to make that happen. Thank you for your kind words. Well then, Agel, you take care of yourself. We'll be back to check on you, so be on your best behavior. Mm. I will. Goodbye, everyone. Ah, oh. he's a stubborn little guy, but it's for the best. And then he can come back when he's like a swordsman. Talk about a shock when Ego said he wanted to come with us. Although it's not like there weren't signs, too. You could see it in his face as far back as when Commander Goodman said they'd taken the boys. Hmm? I suppose now that you mention it. Hmm? Aerie? Is something wrong? You've been staring off behind us. Are you expecting something? The kid, Aegle. Aegle? What of him? There's no way he'd s he stayed put. I won't believe it, and I won't be tricked. <laughs> Once bitten, twice shy, eh, Harry? Hmm. He did seem to take those orders from Eleanor awfully well, considering his usual tone. Exactly. Something is fishy here, and I refuse to be duped. You seem like you almost want him to show up. <laughs> she and Eagle have an epic rivalry going by now. You can't fool me twice, brat. <laughs> uh, watch him appear like on our boat. Uh, I hope not. I don't want him along. Damn, Tiz may think he's a freaking brother-like person, but he's kind of annoying. I mean, he almost got killed. He's just, he's annoying. He doesn't need to be with us right now. Alright. Let's go. Watch though. He's gonna be on our ship or something like that. And we're gonna be like, No! Hey guys, we're taking off. Off to the Earth Temple next. Well, first we're going to the uh, the floating ship over here. I guess to tell them about uh, our triumphs. Is this the guy I have to talk to? I think it is. Ah, it's a shame. Really, just a shame. Mm, I'm loud and irritating. Apologies. It's just a shame. You see the little inn in Caldisla? I use as my base of operations as well. It's going out of business. Seems the old innkeep finally succumbed. Poor man. Can't keep the inn going. Ah, uh, no. That's, um, Owen's father, right? I guess we're going back to Caldisla. I hope he's all right. Coming, Owen. And here we go. This is. Where did this fog come from? Oh. Look at that! Is that what I think it is? <gasps> it's uh oh. For us. What do we do? Bored. We're boarding it. We're not letting that pass. What is the ghost ship, isn't it? I've been waiting to see this thing. It is the ghost ship. SS Funky Francisca. That's a weird name. There's nobody on board. No. Don't be so sure. It is haunted by the ghosts of the crew. <gasps> you mean this is a ghost ship? Oh, what did you think it was called? It's called the Funky Francisca. What the heck? <laughs> uh, 
A shame that only the souls of men inhabit this place. I'd happily lay the souls of women oh, to rest. Gosh, not now, ring a bell. Aha! Guess that yet breathe a rare honor. <laughs> uh, I was wondering when this guy would appear. It's Barbarossa, isn't it? The other guy we seen with the bad guys. It is. The seaman, Barbarossa. We're taking him on. Hey, Barbarossa. Is he alive? Are you the captain of the ship? Close. I am actually the acting captain. The real captain is right here at my side. But so this is a g ghost ship. Welcome to our pirate ship, the SS Funky Francisca. I am Captain Barbarossa, leader of the Black Blades Naval Force. The Black Blades? You must be the Wind Vester and her companion. What? How do you know of us? How could I not know of the brave souls who defeated the Swordmaster Kami Izumi, my commander? I have looked forward to meeting you in battle one day. <laughs> I leave the helm to you, Mimei. We will uh. make this a fair fight. Yeah. Arr, the ship is coming apart. How clumsy of me to step through the deck. <laughs> no ghost is that clumsy. He must be alive. I am indeed the genuine article. A man in the flesh, though the only one among my crew. <laughs> Why the ghost ship? I sail this ship in search of a certain something. It can only be found by this vessel. A certain something? You might call it adventure. Surely you don't have to be a man of the sea to know that. I know what you speak of. A man's soul craves nothing more than the romance of adventure. Well, aren't you two getting on famously, <laughs> ring a bell? Perhaps it is something women and children can never understand. If you think about it rationally, it does seem absurd. But absurd or not, it is adventure I seek. And the years I have spent wandering the seas in folly have shown me many truths. That's it! The truth! Now, let us have a little fun. See how you fare against my great axe! <laughs> All right, let's take him on. I wonder what this class entails, like the pirate. Or something. I don't know. We'll see what he does in battle. Alright, default up. Arrow. Default. Default. Defang. Alright. Oh, I forgot to change his weapon. My bad. Alright, fine. Oh, actually, I can change his weapon, right? Yeah, I can. Equipped. Uh, what is it? The flame tongue. And... This shield. Where's my shield at? Bloody shield. Alright. Now... Do that. Attack. Attack. Brave you up. Piercing bolt. Um, I'm assuming since he's a pirate, water might not hurt him. Fire won't do anything. So we're going to go with thunder. And hope that my assumption is right. Uh, you would just default for now. Brave, brave. Maximum draw. 
Um, oh, actually, not yet. Uh, and we can do one more. So, with under my bow, then maximum draw, and attack, attack. Do it up. Think you're ready? Let's hope. Nice. Yeah, but thunder is its weakness. I knew it. Alright. This should do some major damage. Nice, nice, nice. I like it. I like it. Thunder Eye. Ow. We're still good. We're still good. Let's default us back up to, uh, three. Default, 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 default. Shell split. Uh, nothing too great there, buddy. Attack, attack. Vengeance. Brave. Um, let's raise our P attack for uh, Ring a Bell, and then we'll hit him with some Thunder Us. You're defaulting. Uh, He's already got that. Okay. So, just go all out. Jeez. Uh, we're gonna rip through him easily. Alright. Default. 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 Actually. I don't know. Just cause I want her to do something, we will hit uh, attack. Uh, cure in a double bit. Ow. Ow. We get default, 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 default. Now, I get with another vengeance. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Ooh, nice maximum draw. Get him. Come on, do another nine, 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 nine. Nah, nah. Oh hell yeah! It's over. That was a major kill. And we got the pirate uh, asterisk, I guess. Yeah, the pirate. That's a weird class. Pirates. Affects enemy attributes with immensely powerful attacks. Highest P attack. They favor Axis. So they all use Axis. And they have the highest uh, physical attack. Huh. Might be interesting, but I don't know. They are good with swords as well, but not great with them. Okay. me, Windvester. Eh, such power. Forgive me, Suleiman. Commander, it seems my time is up. I feel kind of sorry for these guys somewhat. I mean, they had goals they wanted to do. Don't tell them I told you, but the captain's got a gal waiting for him back on the island. On land. Get chased by her. He's a ghost now? <laughs> yeah, he's a ghost. Damn, so we killed him? That's pretty messed up. I like how they're uh, they're touching on that, though. I mean, it's not Kitty. We killed him. What's this? Uh, Mophelia, someday I will be at your side. All these ghosts and their hopes and dreams crushed. Been at sea a long, long while. Salty as they come. Damn. Alright, well, see you, Barbarossa. Alright, well, um, I was g gonna continue, but I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna end it off there, guys. Um, I'll st on the next part, we'll go and, uh, we'll talk to, uh, Owen's dad and figure out why he's given up on his inn. 
See you then. Bye-bye.